everybody, this is Bob from Bob's O Gauge Trains. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today's video, we're going to concentrate on track maintenance and uh, we're actually going to run a maintenance away train. Now, uh, as far as track maintenance, uh, I'll show you a couple things on how to do as far as uh, if you have, you know, like a little dent now, sometimes it depends on how bad you may have to replace the track. Sometimes if you have a little dent, in your track you can repair it um, other times you may not be so lucky and you may have to replace a track section it all depends uh, we're going to talk about what to use and how to tr clean your track uh, as well as uh, I have a track cleaning car made by Northeast Trains I'm going to run with the train as well um, it's a really nice car and uh, it, it helps uh, you, you know to clean the track and I use that most of the time. I clean my track every, I don't know, two or three weeks. It depends on how much you run your trains. Uh, but I also sometimes use it the old way with, uh, you know, a little elbow grease and a rag. So uh, we're going to go over some different ways to do it. And we're going to run the maintenance away train. Um, as well as uh, on, on the second track, I'm going to run the Pennsylvania Railroad 6755. It's an M1B. It's a 4A2 wheel configuration, and that's going to pull uh, a bunch of flat cars with pup trailers. So uh, we're going to enjoy that. And uh, the really cool thing about that is that engine, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad 6755, is also at Strasburg at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. So, um, you know, to have an engine uh, with the same uh, railroad name as well as the same cab number that you know the museum has is kind of cool so um, sit back and enjoy uh, we're, we're going to show you how to uh, clean track run a maintenance away train and uh, hopefully kick up a little noise so enjoy okay so here we go as far as track cleaning and maintenance um, uh, as far as maintenance away I actually have a Lionel tie ejector um, which is cool for doing some trackside maintenance. Uh, what This is a motorized unit, and believe it or not, it does come with TMCC, so you can operate it either conventional or with a TMCC remote or legacy remote. I'm using a TMCC Cab 1L, so uh, we're going to be running that uh, via command with a TMCC remote. And what that does is it's a motorized unit. Um, it goes forward and reverse. There is no sounds, but it does have somewhat of a speed control. It runs really good for slow speed, uh, you know, especially since it's a very small unit and very compact. And uh, the railroad ties kind of shoot out the side. You can eject them either on the fly as the uh, train goes by or stop it and uh, unload some railroad ties and continue on your journey. As far as track cleaning, um, you could do it in a number of ways. Some people use what they call a, a track eraser. You can get at some hobby shops. Uh, some people use nothing more than a, you know a rag with some cleaning solution. Uh, you could get track cleaner. Um, you can also use the the good old Scotch Brite pads. Um, as far as any kind of cleaning solvent. Um, some time ago, I actually did talk to some people down at MTH, and they recommended denatured alcohol. Now, there's a lot of guys that use various things. Uh, you got to be real careful what you use as far as uh, flammable or fumes or vapors or anything. Um, I use denatured alcohol as recommended by D uh, MTH. Um, it's a very good cleaner, um, and it's also does not leave a film. Some people use rubbing alcohol or what they call isopropyl rubbing alcohol. According to MTH, that does work, but it also leaves a film on the top of your rails, which sometimes interferes with conductivity. So they recommend denatured alcohol, which does not leave a film. Is I have two track cleaning cars. They're made by Northeast Trains. Now, the one on the left, with the brown base is somewhat older uh it was starting to get a little old looking so i took all the pieces off of the uh, car and i painted it brown and i put the pieces back on just to kind of spruce it up a bit and uh this one here i got last year um fairly recently and uh it's it's kind of a cool car because they added a lot of detail 
Um, they've added some figures onto it. Uh, the boxes have some labels on it. So they actually did quite a great job with this car. And how it works is you have two track cleaning pads here and here. And when you flip them under, you'll see they're starting to get just a little dirty. But you add your track cleaning solution or whatever you're going to use onto the pad. And as you could add this car to your train. So as it rolls around, it will go around and clean your track. Now how to get the pads off is you just kind of push up. And this screw here unscrews and you have the same thing on the other side. This whole thing falls off. So you put a new pad back on. You hold it up against the bottom of the car and you put the screw back on and tighten it up. And you have a fresh clean uh, pad as far as your track cleaning car. And you could add it to any train, passenger or freight. And uh, I, I recommend that you actually put it towards the front of the train so it has a little bit of weight behind it. And it gives a little bit more uh, you know, weight onto the pads. It'll do a much better job cleaning your track. Thanks for stopping by. I hope I was able to give you a couple hints on, uh, you know, how to make minor uh, track repairs if you have a, dent a dented rail. Um, like I said, it all depends on what kind of track you're using and how bad it is. Um, you may have to replace it, but uh, we, we talked about that a little bit. We ran the track cleaning car, uh, talked about ways to clean your tracks and things that manufacturers have actually told me to suggest as far as um, you know solvents or liquids to uh, you know put on your rag or your track cleaning car to clean your track that are safe for your track and your trains so uh, I, I hope you enjoyed that 
and uh, of course the uh, maintenance away train that would be rather fitting uh, for this week's video uh, it's a great train it was pulled by an I-1 Decapod 210O as, as well as uh, added to the consist were two Lionel sound box cars um, whatever train I run if I'm running a Pennsylvania Railroad I try to include them uh, because it just kind of adds to the realism and you know it, it makes it just really cool to watch so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already um, spread the word ab about the channel I do appreciate the support that you guys have given me over the last roughly year and a half so uh, leave a comment as well uh, I like hearing from you guys I answer every comment I e ever get um, and to be honest uh, a lot of comments have directly led um, to video topics that I've uh, gone into so if you see something that you uh, want to see more of or you have a suggestion or a question or something you would like to see if I can um, provide that for you I sure would uh, so uh, leave a comment I answer all of them I want to thank everybody for watching and your support everybody take care stay safe and happy railroading